Good afternoon, YouTube. Welcome after a long time. A uh, little Android review again for my Suriname people tuning in. Mensen, ja, dit is ook een tech kanaal en af en toe maak ik nog wat tech video's voor de vele abonnees die ik ook heb die uh, wachten op dit soort films. En vandaag gaan we het hebben over de S7. Dus hebt u de Samsung Galaxy S7, het model G930F of de G935F, dan kunt u deze film ook even volgen. Wel, um, my friend asked me, he said, Puk, can you make a review about One UI 4.1 for the Samsung Galaxy S7? And so uh, I, I looked into the files. It's a very special install. If you are still on the official firmware, the first thing that you need to do is put the thing in a download mode and then flash with Arden, twerp to the device, go into twerp, format data, and then um, you can start this, what I'm going to show to you. Okay? All right. Um, there are some files that you will need. You will need the ROM file, you will need the create vendor file, and you will need the treble converter. So let me put you on the tripod and let's see what we should do. I have all the files uh, all linked and uh, I got them all by Eilim Uyavul, so big up to him. Uh, he took the time to ask me to make this uh, review. I thought it was one UI 6, so I was a little bit confused, all right? But yeah, there is in fact, I did not see other reviews about this room yet. So I still found it, it worth it to, um, to get it. So up here, you're gonna find a link that will go to the room. I will send everything to you. You will as well need, um, you will need this camera. Okay, and this one is the one that works, so let it load. It takes a little. You see, and now we can click the download. And this has to do with the camera, okay? Uh, we will need to replace the camera. All right, good. So let's get started. I'm already running it and I've been testing it. It works good. Yeah. So let me show you how to install it really fast. We're going to restart and we're going to restart with the volume up, home and the power pressed. We're going to wait for the reboot. And we let go when we see the logo. This will bring us in a recovery mode. I already have Twerp installed. And you need the Twerp from, uh, from Anan Yassar. And so I went looking for it and I downloaded it. So you must get it from GitHub, okay? So the very first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna first Format data. So you hit format data, you hit yes, and then after that is done, you click reboot and then back to recovery. So then your device will be fully cleaned up. And then you need to copy some files to the device. Okay, here we have the ROM. We need the treble fender. And we need the create fender. Okay, I have them all already on the device. So here, here you're gonna see the create fender. Yeah, that's the first one that you gonna go ahead and install. So you hit create fender. I'm not sure if it's gonna mess up whatever I did, but I don't think so. And it's already installed. 
uh, when it's gonna install, it's gonna say you must reboot back into recovery. So let's let's do that one more time. Because I already did it, you understand? And I think the very first step would be uh, to update the twerp. And the twerp you update by hitting install image. And there it is, you see that? And you select it and then you select uh, recovery. But I already installed it. You see, after you installed it, then you're gonna get all these extra uh, uh, partitions, meaning that you can now as well install, uh, I think a treble based drum, uh, GSI, I mean, all right? So after you did that, um, you're gonna go ahead and wipe, and then you do a advanced wipe. So you update the twerp, you reboot it back into the twerp, you flash the create fender, it's gonna then be busy and tell you to reboot back into recovery and then you are ready to flash the second file all right so the second file that we're gonna flash after you did the advanced wipe uh, is the treble vendor and you're gonna install it Okay, and then, then you can go ahead and install the XROM S10 port. And uh, I'm just installing it on top of the one that I already had installed. Okay. Because it's crazy to go and bring the, the phone back into the state that it was. It was running Android 14, by the way, by uh, Ivan Miller. Uh, this ROM is created by... Um, uh, I thought it was a lady that made it, but unfortunately it was not. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It was, uh, what is his name again? Um, let me see, I think it was here somewhere. Florin. It was by Florin, uh, Florin UIX123. Okay, so big, great up. And big up to Mr. Florin and his complete group. I think there are even some more people that worked on this because I think I asked him who I had to credit. By the way, SLM, um, questions that people will ask about this room, you will have to answer them, okay? Because I'm very busy with other things these days. So when you see questions under the video, then you can answer them. Uh, and one thing that is important, it is this official group for help books and things like that http florin ux so he wants me to put that in the description yes put this in the video description so people can get help from the owner but not everybody has telegram or wants to go to telegram i'm one of these kinds of people so that's why i'm telling you uh Ilem, when once in a while you take a look at the video and you see some questions that I did not answer, you are free to answer them, okay? And that goes for all of you that will as well install this sort of GSI. It's not a GSI, it's a ROM. But it's a sort of GSI. Because I looked at the structure of the room and I could see where is it? Here it is. You see, it has a .br system. 
it only has an extra fender and boot image. So yeah. All right, so let's reboot the system. I think I think uh, you should check out the One UI six um, ROM for the S ten that we as well have. It's by a very nice developer. He's not with. Uh, you are not allowed to copy or uh, use anything of my ROM like certain people. You know. Um, so he's a nice guy. I think you should if the thing can run S10 official firmware that you modified, it should as well be able maybe to run the one UI6. So just check it out. Try to make it a, a new challenge for the next video. Uh, it did not go to the setup because, you know, it was already installed. So it will not show the complete setup again. All right. I got it. So here you can see the ROM. This is how it looks. It's a very nice uh, ROM. One UI 4.1. Some people, they just... I tried to zoom out. They just love uh, One UI 4.1 uh, uh, update to the 2.1 that it was running. You know, so certain people will, will just love this even more than Linux OS Android 14. You know, just because it's One UI, they, they just love one ui it's their thing it's just like some people they love ios launcher i'm one of these guys you know for android i think it looks really cool you know mimicking the the iphone expensive device that came only in certain models and you know thanks to the launcher by loot and hit we can give the thing any looks that we want and as well, the iOS look and feels. Here you can see it's One UI 4.1. It's Android 12. Okay, it's not 14 or 13 or whatsoever. Yeah. But it's the start of a very nice uh, thing that might uh, even grow up to higher builds of the uh, operating system. Uh, so yeah, this is a nice ROM for you guys to use. Um, even though it's not Android 14, it is One UI 4.1. And I told you that we need to fix the camera. So let's look into the internal storage, what I have here. Documents, nothing. I think it was, was it not? I don't know where I put it. We go. And let's install the camera. I got it. Internal storage. Download. And there it should be. If you're gonna get the camera, um, get it from APK Mirror. Install this camera go and that will let you film and make beautiful pictures and videos with your very old S7 still and let's see if it's installed there it is uh, yes, while using the app. Yes. Allow. It's not asking for location. You make a nice picture. I look a little bit white, but that's because I'm too much in the studio making the news. Hello, testing one, two, three, four. Film it with Gcam. Okay, you see, it works. So, um, things like uh, fingerprint, and so I give you the honor to find out if these work, you know. Um, 
and test out the rest of the things. If something is not working, write it down in the in the comments so others know, so they can decide if you know it's important for them to work. So you can go ahead and check out these things yourself. Uh, all I can say is that I see a good working phone here. But I can only make emergency calls. And here I see the IME. So that's all good. It's all looking good, peeps. This is it. Uh, One UI 4.1. Uh, by Florin and big up to Eilim and all the other guys that helped Florin uh, you can now upgrade your Samsung Galaxy S7 uh, to One UI 4.1 and that is very nice for a phone of this age because now it just reached the state of the S10 official you know and soon i'm sure that these guys uh, will find a way to bring one ui5 or even six to this device